Okay, so here we are. We've got pretty much the uh, ring that goes around the whole part of this greenhouse. And we have all of these pieces of triangles right now that's actually going to help form the geodesic dome. So uh, it's all color coded and I'm going to start standing this up pretty soon and it's going to start going vertically up um, at kind of like, you know, shape of a dome. But um, anyway, it's really excited and these zip ties are so incredibly strong. I tried cutting one and I couldn't even get through that. So I just wanted to show you my progress at this stage. Uh, tomorrow, this is going to start going up and uh, it's going to start looking pretty good. So I start doing rings of these uh, triangles that actually go around the whole entire thing. And I'm so excited. And one of the things I wanted to show you is all of these zip ties. They're stainless steel zip ties and this is what basically holds most of the structure together for the geodesic dome. And I have to say these things are amazing and it is such a fast way to put something together and I'm really excited about using these. Um, very easy to use. This will be so much easier to do than the other greenhouse that I actually made and that looks a lot simpler. Okay, so this is the next part of my video and I'm getting up the full first tier of the uh, greenhouse. So the geodesic dome greenhouse has a band and you can see it here where this is the first major uh, level that will support the rest of it. Okay, so I put a lot of zip ties in here and I've got room for a few more because it's going to be building up on top of this and I'll show you. It's kind of cool here. Look at this. This is going to be the big first ring. Okay, so we have these red struts and we are actually going on the second tier here. So we're starting to build the second tier. I'm getting more excited as this goes along because you can really see this thing develop. And the second tier is going in. So all of this is going to be filled in on the second row and it's getting pretty high. One thing I have to explain is that this is really easy to build for the most part and it's going up pretty quickly so if you're ever wanting to do a shelter I would imagine that this would be like one of the best like things that you could do um, to get it done quickly so okay so I took a like two minute break and I put a yellow strut beside every red strut and I'm gonna be like using the zip ties right down here to uh, fix them in so um, this whole second tier is actually going up in probably about uh, 25 minutes. Hey, so I'm a little sweaty here, excuse that, but uh, anyway, I am showing you a little bit more progress on the geodesic dome and it is coming along pretty well. As you can see, there's like a large ladder in the background and that actually can go up to 12 feet high. So one of the things that you've got to be careful about is it does go up to 14 feet. So once you get up to the top, you've got to be a little bit brave and actually conquer your fear because it's uh, pretty high up there on the ladder. At least for me, it's like I'm not a big fan of ladders, but um, anyway, I'm starting to get more comfortable with it. So that is good. Um, going on to the third tier, and it is looking uh, pretty good. It's actually closing in on itself, and I was kind of uh, suspect that it wasn't gonna do that, but as you started to pull in the different joints, all of a sudden it starts to curve over in a dome-like structure. So you can see a little bit of that going on right now, and tomorrow I should have it all totally closed up. So I'm so psyched about that. And if anybody wants to come and see this video, who lives in the local area in uh, Rhode Island, 
it would be kind of fun to actually have you come by the house and actually take a look at the geodesic dome. Okay, so this is really high and uh, just saying hello from over a 12 foot uh, distance up and um, it should probably top off at about this big. So that's what we are looking at. So I'm just about done with the geodesic dome and on the top I'm actually completing a ring with these struts and it's going to create a star-like formation. And once that happens, I just put in the spokes of the wheel on the top where it actually has like a star-like pattern and uh, it'll close it up. So I'm just about there. So I'm so excited. This is the end of constructing that part, but there's gonna be so much other stuff that's gonna happen as far as putting plastic and stuff like that on the greenhouse and then trying to like dig a trench around it so that I can uh, put my piping to actually get 50 degree air to go into this greenhouse so um, it wasn't something I really wanted to do in the smaller greenhouse and I'm going to do it in a big way uh, in this greenhouse so anyway I'm going to show you the completed version hopefully in a few minutes Okay, I'm super sweaty and sometimes I'm vegan. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I wanna show you the greenhouse. It is completed and I cannot wait to uh, do videos in this greenhouse. So it looks freaking awesome. So if you're looking for a great greenhouse to build, try zip tie domes. They have all kinds of different sizes and I have to say it was one of the easiest things to put up and uh, it's actually easier than my smaller greenhouse over there. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna take one last look out through the top before I start putting on the plastic. Okay, so we're gonna go through one of these diamonds here and this is actually gonna be kind of like a flap for a door. Um, I might do some uh, wood for a wooden entrance there if anybody's got any good ideas. So look at this. Man, I feel like a real sense of accomplishment because I did this all myself and didn't have any help. So look at these uh, geodesic patterns that actually allows this thing to create a dome. Like I really didn't think this was gonna work. And it is incredibly handsome for the type it is. So I'm gonna do a lot of things to beef this up and make it look extra special. So yeah, right up there is the pattern that actually shows kind of like a star configuration. And that is the very center of this greenhouse. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of True Health and I hope you're thinking about possibly looking up zip tied domes so that you can actually have one of these as well. And if you're in the area and you don't feel like putting it together, um, I could do that for a small fee as well. So you could contact me. All right. I hope all is well. And uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. This is Steve True Health, and I talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching this video on the geodesic dome.